welcome. It's J.H. and J.H. Well, that's how you doing today, J.H.? I'm fine, J.H. Yeah, how are you? It's wonderful. It's, it's, it's morning time, but everything is nice. Time to, time to transformational, yes. uh, revolutionary time uh, uh, for the world. I would say so, yes. Time to navigate through strange ways of living, strange ways of thinking, strange ways of being, underneath the very strange people that govern us. Yes. Now, the thing is, you know, we're, as we, we were going to be filming this, uh, we we're going to be having this conversation on Zoom, oh. um, but we decided uh, that um, we would um, meet up. Yes, um, yes, as we often do at this yes. beautiful uh, rural location um, exactly right. on the border between, we're near the border of Northamptonshire, Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire, yes, aren't we? Yes, exactly. We are very near the border, I think we're near the borderline of between sanity and insanity. <laughs> I think it is very fine line, and I think probably more insanity than sanity at the present time. What do you think? But is insanity, insanity, you can have good insanity and yes. uh, bad insanity, can't you? You can, and I think probably at the present time, there's probably more insane insanity than sane insanity. What do you think? Now, there's a thought that's very profound, uh, J.H. Yes. Um, yes. If you could just repeat that one more time, I'm just trying to, to process that because yes. obviously, we're in a, we're in a I, I, can't, I can't sort of see your face yes. as I normally yes. would. Yes. <laughs> We're in a strange sort of limbo between sanity and insanity. I was walking down the street in Tottenham one day when I saw a crowd of hoodies casting an old nap. And I think they to see this, really. Yeah. They feel they're walking around the world that seems to be a twilight world, um, where in, in some strange mysterious way, all the old protesters have been seen and are being systematically dismantled. I didn't know what a pair of hoodies might want with an old woman's purse, but it surprised me the way she fucking cursed. Now, an old git like me, you who's hate. Um, and, you know, I think I read, I read a quote actually, you know, um, quite a long time ago uh, about this idea of aliens coming and invading this planet or coming to, to visit yeah. us or um, on this planet and um, someone, I forget who it was, they joked and said, oh no, 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 no don't worry about that. Well, they made question that aliens don't. And the thing about, about the human race is that they must be for aliens to attack in another way and they're not looking or expecting us to cooperate so fully with the process of destroying humanity. Well, this is it. And well, someone said that, um, you know, aliens would take, you know, flying past this planet, yeah. would take one look at this planet and say, oh, bugger that, we're not stopping there. Three. May not be nimble enough to. Good Lord, we're looking at the lunatic of the world here, and I don't think we'll risk getting involved with it. But what we'll do is we'll see if we can get some very, very small pieces of DNA to infect them, and perhaps they'll just destroy themselves. Okay. That's what they have in mind. Ah, oh, it's interesting you say that because um, it's interesting you mentioned the asylum. Because yeah. I don't know if you've heard this quote, but someone did say a long time ago. I should have checked before we did the show. Yeah, I should yeah. have researched it properly, yeah. like a normal person. <laughs> um, <laughs> and well, that's normal these days. Who was it that said that the uh, planet Earth was the, the lunatic asylum of the solar system? Yes, I, I say that's probably true. Most aliens that would be passing by would think we'll give this place a bit of a mess mm. because they're dangerous, unpredictable, and insane, and they're, they're, they're propensity towards suicide. Um, I mean, they are very similar, such as the lemmings. And uh, it's, it's interesting, uh, uh, Jeremy, I had a thought I was just about to mention to you. Oh, yes, that's it. Um, although, you know, these are challenging times, you know, mm. uh, there are uh, people that are um, waking up to the insanity of it all, which makes mm. them more sane, doesn't it? It's a step forward, sir, yes. Or depending on, in Hugh's view, possibly more mm. um, insane. Because yeah. they're they can't free. So I shouted the threat that I fought in the war, and all of a sudden, then there was... The more insane the things we're asked to do are, the more people follow them. Yeah. It's like, well, that can't possibly be anything other than the same because it seems so insane. Yeah, very profound. Yeah. And, let's, yeah. and let's face it, Joe, you know, we should be grateful mm. um, for the fact 
that we've ingeniously found a way that we can actually meet today. Yes, it's a bit, 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 it's a I'm um, very grateful for small mercies, Jeremy, mm-hmm. because which, and gratitude is a good thing, isn't it? Um, but I can just about I can just about see you. Yep. Um, I mean, I will have to say um, I'm thinking of writing uh, to ASDA um, mm-hmm. because um, on the packet, ASDA it did say that these were sure. see-through bin liners. Well, not at all see-through. No, no it's just they're kind of semi-see-through, yeah. semi-transparent. Yeah. So I think I should write to to ASDA, mm. um, Jeremy, um, yeah. or email, and if they don't reply, then I'll send another email because yeah, I, I, I love. Uh, writing letters and, and emails and saying, so I'm grateful for small mercies that although we're, the situation is not ideal, I can yeah. actually just about see you. Right, yeah. And, um, but, but my, my feeling is that, that, that we could aim to inspire people to um, think, think about what makes sense and what doesn't. And I think that most gay people would conclude that 95% of what we're being told is nonsense. Um, it, we are being led by people who are, have got half a brain to fool them. And that there seems to be some agenda to actually really turn us back into stone age, isn't it? And, and, and let's hope that's only just for a, a, a very short time, Jeremy, that's a it. very short transition period. Yeah. Um, let them have their fun, yeah. um, because once, once they've got their R number yeah. down to where they want it to be, yeah. uh, then um, we, can, uh, we, we can start to, uh, to, to win then, can't we? And okay. um, we can have the... So come to me party and bring your bling In the world of hoodies, I am the king All kids can all fight if they know the word Well, I just want to say, um, before we sign off, that's um, a particular um, conversation um, Before we sign off, that's a particular conversation I mean, despite the fact we've been very warm and um, you know we're, we're very hot mm. behind these, and we can't yeah. see each other as we'd like to. Yeah. Um, but um, from an environmental point of view, um, on the front of the Brackley and Calvester mm. sanitizer this weekend, oh, yeah, right police riot shield joined the COVID fight. So yeah, instead yeah. of disposing of the mm. uh, see-through plastic riot shields, and mm. obviously that's not good um, yeah. for our let's face it precious environment mm. that we've been uh, messing around with yep. for a long time now, they're going to be using them to make proper, um, authentic. Um, you know, kosher, mm. um, transparent mm. plastic screens for institutions. Come join the great vigilantes and make someone's day. So I waved my stick and decided to have a go. And the feisty old dear. Maybe if they thought of this a bit earlier, mm. and maybe if they got this sorted out a bit earlier, then maybe we could have had one of those well, it could, yeah. um, proper plastic screens that would have been, that were going to be disposed of yeah. into the environment. Mm. And um, so until those were available, we've had to make do with this yeah, wonderful yeah. one here. That's right, they've done very well. And at least the virus can't get underneath, no, it's because you've got the fire, the fire guard here, so the virus can't get past. Mm. Yeah. And even you, mm. being in a higher risk group at the mm. very, very old age of mm. 62, mm. you're very well protected, so yeah. at least you're not... Mm in that high risk yeah. uh, group anymore, yeah. Jeremy. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, good. Thank you everyone again for watching us in this strange, strange world area. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Good. Maybe we can get these things off now. We can. Yeah. yeah. Her kicks to their balls was something to say. I was truly fucking glad that she didn't kick me. By the time we were finished, there were seven men dead. And underneath their hoodies, their trousers were brown. It was like the war when we kicked the crowd. They were a fucking sight tougher than those mugging...